Becoming a root user on macOS unlocks a whole new level for your operating system, giving you read-write access to the entire system. To be a root user, you should really know what you're doing though, because if you don't, then you risk damaging your system. If you're confident digging beneath the bonnet of your Mac, then this is our guide for enabling root user access on a Mac. On macOS, certain parts of the file system are unavailable by default, even if you are the administrator. By enabling root user, however, you'll gain read and write access privileges to the entire file system. You can even access files of another user's account, perfect if you forgot your username and password, or if an ex-employee leaves your business without sharing login details of their company-issued laptop. By enabling root user, you'll have full control over your Mac. While this can be handy for advanced users, it's also far easier to damage your Mac. Apple is fully aware of this and, of course, has disabled root access by default. Follow along with this tutorial to learn how to enable the root user on Mac OS. Enabling root via the terminal. You can enable root access via your Mac's terminal. To launch the terminal, open a new finder window and navigate to the Applications Utilities folder. In the terminal window, type the following command. DS enable root one word and press enter. The terminal should detect your username automatically and will then request your password. Type in your password and press enter. You'll then be prompted to create a password for the root account. Since the root user essentially has access to every part of the Mac, make sure you choose a strong password. Once the process is complete, you should see the following message. Root is now enabled on your laptop or computer and you can start using it for tasks that would be impossible to complete via a regular user account. Enabling root using directory utility. If you prefer to use your Mac's user interface, then you can enable root using the directory utility. Open your Mac Spotlight by tapping the menu icon in the upper right corner of the screen. In the Spotlight window, search the directory utility, then select this application when it appears. In directory utility, make sure the services tab is selected. In the bottom left corner, click the little padlock icon and enter your username and password when prompted. In the toolbar, select Edit, Enable, root user. When prompted, create an username and password for your root user. You can now click OK to create your root account. If you want to disable the root user at any point, then relaunch the directory utility, but this time select Edit, Deactivate Root User. How to log into the root user account. Once it's enabled, you can log into the root user account from the macOS's login screen. Log out of your current account as normal and on macOS's login screen, select Other. For username, enter root. You can now enter your root password. Log into the account. Congratulations, you're now a root user. The account may look exactly the same as a regular user account, but it's now possible to access, edit, and even delete files that would usually be strictly off limits, so tread carefully. To be on the safe side, you should only log into the root account when you have a task that specifically requires root privileges. Disabling root user using terminal. To help protect the Mac from malicious activities or even accidental damage, you should disable root as soon as it's no longer required. To disable root access, launch your Mac's terminal, Applications, Utilities, Terminal, and then run the following command. DS enable root minus D. When prompted, enter the password for your current account. You should see the following message. The root user account is now disabled on your Mac. For Linux, we have a tutorial to disable the root user account, link in the description. Do note that you won't need the root account for most fixes. If you have a frozen Mac, for example, there are some ways to fix it without requiring a root account. Links also in the description. Okay, as always, thanks so much for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.